How's it going? So I'm going to show you how you can send a coupon code and you're going to be using Zapier to actually send out the email with this. And you can store this in Google Sheets or you can send it over to a CRM application. Uh, that way you can have the code associated with a particular lead. Okay. So I'm going to open up. I uh, just created like a random test page here. I haven't filled out like any of the formatting or anything like that, really. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to drop in a Zapier webhook into the post webhook area. So I'm going to hop on over to Zapier real quick, and I'm going to set this zap up. So I'm going to select make a zap, and I'm going to go for a webhook here. <clears throat> and you want to select catch hook, save and continue. Then you want to copy this URL here. So just select copy, and then go back over to phone sites. Drop that into post webhook. Save this. And let's go back over to Zappy real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and name this real quick. <clears throat> you can name it whatever you want. Uh, coupon code. Zap. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, and let's see. Now I'm going to select, okay, I did this. I need to go back over to Zappy or to uh, phone sites. Go to my page here. And let's just open this up so I can, I need to submit some data for this. So I'm going to go ahead and submit some test data. Because now Zapier is waiting for data to appear over here after I had selected, okay, I did this. So here in a second, we should expect to see, okay, so now we've got the sample data coming through. Okay, this is the sample data that I just submitted through, okay. I'm going to select continue. And then now I need to set up a couple of additional steps here. So. The next step is I'm going to select add a step and I'm going to go and I'm going to move my picture there. I guess I'll just move over. Come on, it's really finicky. Drop, drop. There we go. <laughs> okay, add a step and then go to formatter. Actually, my bad. My bad. Formatter is if I was going to try to perhaps uh, truncate. Uh, a portion of text here, which I was thinking I might do from the lead ID that's associated with your uh, your lead, but that doesn't come through from the webhook, so I can't actually do that. What I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to select add a step, and then I'll go action search and search in for code, and then code by Zapier is what I want. I'm going to select run Python, or sorry, run JavaScript, save and continue. And then uh, I'm going to leave input data uh, alone. I'm not going to change anything there because um, <clears throat> I'm not actually inputting anything into this step here. All I'm doing is just trying to generate some random code. So now I have um, a script over here. I'm just going to pull out of my uh, Word doc, copy that, and then come back over here. And then where the, the code field is, where it has output, um, I'm just going to take that little string and replace it with what I had just copied from Word, right? And so what this is going to do is going to, it's going to create a random string of uh, alphanumeric characters, and you can change how long you want this string to be. So I have it currently set to eight. Uh, I think if it's like fewer than six, it's probably not going to be enough for what you want, but we can shorten this later. So right now I'm going to leave it as eight, and then we're going to come back to it here in a second, and maybe we'll... Maybe we'll shorten it to be like as small as four, and what we'll do is we'll put uh, we'll put like pre pre append uh, the word taco in front of it, and then it'll be like taco four three A D or something like that. Um, that way, it's a little bit more of a memorable uh, code. But for right now, let's just keep it as eight alphanumeric characters without any sort of like indication of what this pertains to. So I'm gonna go ahead and select continue, and then send test to code by Zapier. That's fine. So we should expect to see over here under the random string. This is the uh, random string that was associated for just this particular sample. So the next time that uh, sample data would come through or actual live data would come through, we'd have a different random string here. So the next step is I want to select uh, add a step. And now I want to send out an email. So I'm going to go ahead and select send outbound email here. Um, if, you, if you missed that, uh, what I did, let me just delete this so I can show you exactly what I did there. Might have gone too fast there. So I'm going to go to add a step, action search, 
And I click uh, I clicked on uh, email down here. You could search for it up here. So let's just do that in case you don't see email down there. So email by Zapier is what you want. Select save and continue. <clears throat> All right, so then this is where you need to map the two fields. So this is going to be the, the email address for the uh, the lead you got, right? So two, and then I'm going to select this insert field drop down. I'm going to go to catch hook. Catch. So you got two steps here. And these correspond with what you got over here on the left hand nav, right? So catch hook is step one. That's the data coming from, faint, from, from phone sites. So I'm going to select catch hook, email, and then subject. And you can call that whatever you want. So I think I created something. Uh, ridiculous for the test that I'd sent out to Drewby. I think it was like, so what you doing or something like that. So let's just put that in there. So Drewby's in Toledo. So I'm just going to personalize this for him, right? Uh, okay. All right. And then now the next step is I can put in, you know, my body of the message. I'm going to say, Hey, what's up? All right, now this is where I need to put in my random string for the coupon code, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select insert field here. I'm going to run JavaScript and random string is what you want to pop in here. So that's going to put in the random string that we generated in the, uh, the second step over here under run JavaScript. <clears throat> and I can put in some more in here. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, yeah, whatever. Sure. Okay. All right. And then I could have included a attachment in here too. So like if I created something pretty in uh, Canva as some sort of like coupon, whatever, to put that in there. Of course, the coupon's not going to have the coupon code, but it could maybe have like um, uh, like indication of like how long the, the coupon is valid for or something like that. Okay. And then from name, just put in here... Um, uh, sure, I'll just put my name in here. In, unoriginal here. All right. Can't even spell my name right. Okay. And reply to. Uh, I could put that in there. I don't have to, but I'll go do that anyways. And now, if I wanted to CC or BCC this, so I would advise you might want to BCC yourself on this. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go ahead and select continue. And then if I wanted to go ahead and send out a testy outbound email, I could go ahead and do that too. So let's go ahead and send that outbound email here. So now I want to add an additional step here. I had mentioned at the beginning of creating this video that I could uh, have this captured in Google Sheets or I could send it over to a CRM. Uh, I'm just going to set it up for Google Sheets because um, you probably have a different CRM than what I'm using. Um, but I mean, you can set this up for any number of CRMs, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select add a step here, and then I'm going to search for sheets. Sheets, and then uh, let's see, create spreadsheet row, save and continue. Uh, I've got this associated here already with that account, so I'm going to go ahead and select save and continue. And now I need to find the appropriate spreadsheet that I want here. I've already created one just for this demo here. It's called Phone Lights Leads Codes Generated. And there's only one worksheet in it, so I'm just going to select the first one, which is the only one. So now I'm going to get the appropriate uh, column headers that I have in here. So I have name, email, and code. I could put in other stuff in there too, but that's good enough for me. Oops, didn't mean to go there. Okay, so let's name map. Let's map the name fields. So name is going to go back to catch hook, and that's going to go to the name field. So this uh, catch hook, that's the data that's coming from phone sites, right? So we're mapping map back to phone sites. Email is going to be email and code. This is actually going to come from step two, the action step. So I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to go to run JavaScript, which is the second uh, step, and then random string. 
And so now whatever string is generated for that incoming lead information from phone sites, that is now going to be going up in that email to the lead and it's going to go into sheets. And so now we can go ahead and map, we can match those if we ever needed to, right? Uh, okay, so that's good. And then select continue and send test to Google Sheets. Let's hop on over Sheets. And so that is uh, the, the second step, or the, uh, sorry, the second test that I had done. So let's go back over here to Zapier. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. And I'm gonna turn this on. And then let's run another test through this. So let's see, I'm just gonna prove to you. So I have three rows of data in here. I'm gonna go ahead and select Send again. And let's, uh, let's just falsify this a little bit. This is not a valid email address. Actually, let's keep it. I want to see if that you know actually comes through, so that's why I'm going to leave that as a valid email. So I'm going to go ahead and select Let's Go, and let's hop on over to Sheets over here. And so <laughs> as soon as I hop on over there, that lead information pops on over through Google Sheets. So our code is J2FEFSJV. I'm going to hop on over to my inbox and hop in my email. And so this is the email that we sent from uh, Zapier. There's my subject. And then actually, uh, let's see here. There's our, that was the test. This is the, um, <clears throat> uh, this is the, the most recent email that I just sent through with the, co the coupon code of being J2FEFSJV. Now, and it matches. So I mentioned that we could make the coupon code a little bit more meaningful for someone. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back over to Zapier. Let's hop on into, um, let's go, on and go into edit template. And I'm going to shorten this to about four characters. And I'm going to select continue here and retest the sap. And then once it retests it, it should generate just four characters. Okay, so WTAO was the four characters this time. So now I'm going to go into edit template. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, send e outbound email is where I want to go to. Send template. And then what I want to do here is I'm in the body of the email. This is where I had put in the field for the uh, generated characters from the, um, the code steps, step two. So now what I want to do is I want to prepend taco at the very beginning. That way, when someone gets a code, it's going to be taco and then w-a-t-o or whatever it happens to be right so let's put that in there i'm going to put this all caps i don't put any spaces in between it because now it's going to prepend everything they're going to get this and i'm going to, they're going to get an eight character i don't know why i put four they're going to get an eight character uh code here all right so let's go ahead and send it continue continue turn the zap on and then let's go ahead and test this out now. So let's just call this test three tacos. So let's hop on over to Sheets. And now we should get, why did that not work? Interesting. They should have prepended that on there. Uh, let's go back over. Send about edit template. That's interesting. They did not do that. It does not do what I expected it to do. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. The email will have it. Google Sheets will not because I didn't update it in Google Sheets in that step. So here we go. So there you go. This email now says Taco 5G BJ. Now let's go back over to Xavier and edit this edit template. And so in this step right here, in uh, the code column, I need to put in taco there, right? That way Google Sheets will also have the matching code that the recipient gets in their email. So select continue. We've got to turn the zap on here in a second after we select finish. Okay, and let's test this out for a fourth time. All right. So now email has talk of 5ZMV, which is what we should expect over here in Sheets. And that's what we've got in Sheets. So you can do that, of course, with you know, basically any kind of offer. You can change that up to whatever you want it to be. Um, I would say eight should be like the max limit of characters on your coupon code that you're generating. But hopefully that helps, guys.